Yo guys, what's up? What's good? Yo, 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 yo. The fact I'm saying yo, yo. I don't know if you guys played. Did you play with yo, yo at any point? Like, do you know yo, yo? I know yo, yo. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think I ever played with it. What the? If, if you say the trenches here, yeah, you actually know what yo, yo is like. I don't that's think, all. You know, this is not trenches. Bro. I don't think it's, I don't think yo, yo is trenches. Are you whining me? <laughs> yo, yo is trenches. Like it's, like, it's, like, it's not something that you see. But you found like that. But you played kite, yeah? You did that kite TV. If you have interest in this, you play with my daughter. What did you do? Guys. What did you do when you were young? Normal police and thief games now. Where do they play? Police and thief. That's what I never ended with. Like <laughs> when I think you guys are wondering who this guy is, and yeah, this is me, the yeah. star boy. You know what's up? What's good? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Just do it. Yeah, it's actually nice hanging out with you on this one. Um, oh, no, all this good to come. All this nice. I think, if, I think if you guys watch, uh, I think it was Guess the Song, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So it's guess the song you did. Yeah, I think I did guess the song. Guess the song, yeah. yeah and then the yes, well, I think we've had we've actually had it like once or twice, yeah. and then it's an amazing one with team whenever we are on set. Quick one today on the reaction. We had like a conversation, a very, very nice yeah. one. Um Afro Beats is a conversation. Yeah. Um always. for Afro Beats, yeah. Always. What who is hell? <laughs> how how would this have as a bob like over the years? Uh oh, it has been very interesting. It has yeah. been a it's been a very interesting journey. Like we have had like setbacks and triumphs and just breaking new barriers, breaking new boundaries, and it's been fun to see. I mean, sure. everything has been fun to see. It's been really, really interesting. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm like, it was like amazing. But then, um, for Afrobeat here, yeah, for some persons here, yeah, they have like mm -hmm. the frontiers of it, and then yeah. they want to call their fame the frontiers. So if you have yeah. some set, they'll tell you where well, the FC whiskey is the frontier of that. You have some side, you say where well, the BG, the really frontier, oh, just the outsiders, but this. But then, who, who do you, if you want to name like? Top three frontiers of it, like or top four frontiers. What do you say? Who would you say these are the guys that are taking this thing out there? Well, obviously we know the big guys, we know the whiskeys, we know the Davidos, we know the Honor Boys. This for yeah, we, we, we have the we have the new weight now. We have the we have the new age guys. I mean, those ones are you know those ones are like the main frontiers. And we have the new age guys, the Remas, the um, the Omalis, the CKs, and the rest like that. So. Oh. I was yeah. going to ask you, where do you put the land <laughs> I don't know why you guys do that thing like a lot. Why did you no. put this Daniel? Like, where? Eh, <laughs> uh, Olamde is, Olamde is, Olamde is a legend in his rights. And I would say, um, I, I don't really like, you know, you know, you want to put me on this. I know, I know what you are doing. You want to put me on this spot. Yeah. I, know, this is like, I know you want to put me on this spot. Everybody, yeah. you know, but, you, you will have a lot of religious. It's not guys, only getting it. Put him in the conversation. Why put the kid in the It will always be in the conversation. It will always be in the conversation. Yeah, know, yeah. As it is right now, it has always been, and it's not, it doesn't take anything away from him. Yeah, true, he he said he, he himself, he loved being. On the local scene with his own people, you understand. But just recently, when he signed the Empire deal, obviously he had to start yeah. taking his international land. That's what we are, we are getting from him. He's going more, he's doing more international work right now, and that's nice. So hopefully that. Um, but he's a legend in his own right, yeah, and true, you can't true. take anything away from him. Andres present. Well, yeah, I'm talking about Afrobeat. Um, so for Afrobeat, you have some sides, some some guys who have actually taken this in like the next level. You mentioned some of their names and all of that. Yeah, these guys have been like doing like a whole lot to export this um culture, the trade out there mm -hmm. and everything. I'm going to question like the name of some persons, and yeah. then um, why is it that one of these persons we we'll talk about is not yet in that conversation? So we'll start with Bonaboy at the point. Bonaboy is that guy that for last year, last year was his year. But yeah. that was, with that last last thing you had, it was an amazing year. It was. It was. Um, we, obviously, for the um, fin uh, Champions League final, we're going to see Bottom World perform yeah, the final, yeah, yeah. which is really is a big one for him. And uh, yeah. we saw the song with Metro Boom, and he had a snippet for it, and people are looking forward to see how this one would look like. Yeah. Um, for Bonner Boy, he surpassed about 6.2 million streams on um, Spotify, Spotify, which really is that's crazy, that's bonkers. But what we say Bonner Boy is doing rightly at this point that's putting him there? What he's doing right at this point is. I, I think he's placing himself in he's putting himself in places where where he can be easily seen, he can yeah. be easily accepted by the people he wants. His life is that is about marketing, and marketing is about putting yeah, your true, face true, yeah. where you, where you want them to see it. So yeah. I think that's what he's doing best. Um all this little little placement here and there, the FIFA World Cup thing and the rest, he puts his face into you know, in front of 
like people that have not seen him before. So it's, it's all a win win. So, it's all a win win. Yeah. Hey, but then I'm uh, still on Mulamba here. Yeah. There, there was this tweet actually I saw here. Yeah. Right. People are trying to make like, a comparison. Uh, for the World Cup final, we saw where Edith Doke would perform. Yeah. Yeah. And then that was like the biggest football tournament ever. Yeah. Biggest, when it comes to the um, countryside, yeah. Yeah. Like the biggest. And now for the Jamal League final, we're seeing Bonaboy coming to perform mm-hmm. for the final. One of the headliners, too. Mm-hmm. And you know, the way, the way, the way, why you laughing? You are, <laughs> where you want to set me up, I know. <laughs> I know why you want to start. Why you see you? Okay, so we started to people were like, so one is better than one, better than yeah. one. But would, 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 you, would you want to go with the trend that, um, we've seen the Bonaboy, we've seen the video, would you want to say this is better than this person? Or you want to just be like, let's just do that thing that I'm with? Um, thing is, I have my own. You guys should listen. Wait now. I have my own, what's it called? My, my own preference. Okay, yeah, true. But I'm not going to say it here. And I'm just going to, I'm going to be as diplomatic as possible and just tell you that the, uh, the two of them are different and okay. they have their they have their strengths and they have their weaknesses. So okay. what I'll say is they are they are kings in their own rights. So yeah. yeah. Okay, moving on from Monaco, we also have a whiskey and the the the, the king of the street very long mm-hmm. guy that are eating the song somewhere. Uh, for whiskey, he actually saw at the point where he postponed the um, model of Let's Go Tour, and then yeah. people were asking why he did that. According to him, he said um, for unforeseen logistical reasons, so which has not been made. Could be made. anything. It could be anything. Could be uh, well, anything. Anything where they cancel them, they will use bro, the same excuse. Bro, logistic issue. <laughs> it could be anything. But then, uh, why why he cancel that? He cancel that to the fall of 2023, yeah. And yeah. then he actually announced that the um, Tottenham Hotspur will be by July. Yeah. And then people are like, if you are going to cover me, it's within the Bible, Tottenham Hotspur. This is an Arsenal fan. I won't let this an Arsenal fan. I won't let this an Arsenal fan. Let's just move past this. Let's just move past this. By the way, somewhere um, Made in Lagos became the first ever album by an African to spend 120 weeks on the Billboard um, World Album Channel. about two years plus. Uh, Amazing is. one um, from, from this kid. Um, yeah, we, we, yeah, you saw where Jid and like an our piano beats when you saw people have not heard this one yet. But with kids and that person who was taking the export like out there. Yeah. Yeah, I think at the point, yeah, this is one of the biggest. Um, if you want to call, if you want to talk about Afro beats that are almost becoming like they are normal mm-hmm. Afro, they're like out there. Whiskey yeah. is one of those persons yeah, and all. So, what do you think is that special thing? Because obviously, for last year when you dropped the, the, the last the um mm-hmm. um when the Lagos album, mm-hmm. a lot of person felt like Essence was that thing that took him like everywhere. Mm-hmm. And then people gave credence to Justin Bieber when he came on the song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then Whiskey as a person, what do you think is doing um quite like the point? I think for Whiskey. I think Whiskey is a very hard worker, but what mo- works most for Whiskey is the work he has done more in the past. I would say he's a very, up to now, he's a very hard worker, yeah. but what is still working for him most is the work he has done in the past and the kind of impact his music has touched on people in the past. Like, it's kind of fan base. They will, they will, they will roll in the mud for Bro. you. They will, they will you fight see, with you. See that MC guys. They will scratch you because of whiskey, and that's that's the kind of impact that that's the kind of impact that his star, that his star power exudes. Like yeah. is is the same thing that Michael Jackson had. I don't want to put him on the same this as Michael Jackson, but we can all see like Michael Jackson climb on stage, people defense, people they. It can happen with whiskey too. Yeah, definitely. Facts. It can happen with whiskey. Whiskey can climb stage now and just not see anything and girls just be, yeah. Why is it girls? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and the mood of a whiskey is also have a, 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 um, one of the young guys who mm-hmm. is doing bonkers. I think at this point here, yeah, Rema is that guy that he doesn't, you, you cannot just put him in any box because he's everywhere. Yeah, they're yeah. doing good. Um, so where Calm Down is that song at uh, the time became two times like, um, platinum in the US and then so that's an amazing one for that, me. That, 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 that um, collab with Selena Gomez was, was just like you know I was just, I, I, it was just the perfect collab. I asked on the first key. Do you think that's like the biggest collab ever in Afrobeat? What did you say? Why you? What's your answer to you? What's your? I'm going to tell you. What's your answer to you? Wow, that's that's a question I've not really thought about actually. But I would I would say it's up there. It's, it should be top three, if not top five. What's the top one? Essence, probably. Probably essence. Peru has to be up there. Um, I I can. Is there, is there any other one? I think there's one I'm missing. But I know Peru has to be up there. Definitely, calm down has to be up there. And what's the name? Essence. Essence. Essence has to be number one. To be honest. 
I think bit by bit, I probably know who this guy is supporting. But you guys should just count down. I'm going to take the juice. But yeah, I was somewhere just talking about selling. I was somewhere down actually crossed one billion um, across the platform. Mm-hmm. Calm down, the one he had selling that is an amazing one and everything. For Rema, being like the prince of the stuff at the moment, yeah. doing good, is um, it's, it's charts in France is amazing. I had like the biggest song in France at the moment. Rema mm-hmm. Ross is the biggest album in France for African art. What is I know people have been talking about Rema being in the record deal, which has been impressive. So yeah. Rema without Tonjazi, Rema without Maven, Rema without Jonesy, mm. would Rema still be Rema? Mm. I, I believe it would. I think um, um, what the record label did was help to extend up that process. But I think it was always inevitable with Rema. Because looking at where he was coming from, even before Maven's, he, you know, he, he and uh, what's his name, Alpha P, were part of a group yeah. in, uh, in Benin, R and A. So, he has always been on the also be, way before um, the maybe maybe record. Yes. So I feel maybe records did their beats. Um, I think it's end of the process, but it was always going to be next day. Anyways, the last guy for this one mm-hmm. for we'll talk about our main act is Shape. For those of you who are waiting for that one, I, I saw I saw Elise say she was waiting for the message to just hear Shape. That's the thing. <laughs> um, David is that guy who uh, you can't talk about this guy without mentioning David. David is an amazing guy. We saw where he came back after the. Um, death yeah. of his son and um, very emotional for him but then finally David is back and um, he's promised us that the 31st of March is dropping timeless, timeless and album. everything but then in the past David has been that guy who also has like good numbers when it comes to chat and Afro mm-hmm. Um I'm not going to ask you what he's doing um, correctly but then I'm okay. going to ask you what do you think he should do now that the album is out the album is announced to be out hmm well um, David is it's just like whiskey like I like I said, um, Sophie has done in the past. Yeah. That goodwill, that being good to people. And I feel it's just, it's just who he is. People are different, right? Um, he's, he's that person that is just good to everyone, everyone around him. And if he continues, if he continues being that guy, that goodwill trans, translates into streams, translates into more, what's it called, performances for him and, and everything. It's, it's good. Okay, let me just tell you what he meant here. Yeah. Yeah. So he's saying the video song is more sweet. It's just the fact that he's doing. Good. When did that's I? Like, when did I? That's like, when did I put that? That's that's like, why are you songs. putting words? That's why are you putting words? Put why are you putting words? But that was what he said. Let me just. So anyways, <laughs> let me just. Let me just. Let, let me just clarify here right now. David, I love the video songs. I listen to the video songs all the time. So it's not. It's not about the video songs not being good. No, I said. You you asked me what he should do, and I told you what he should continue doing because there's nothing else to tell the video about promoting his music that I doesn't know. His music is amazing. His music is, is one of the best. What if his music is not good? It won't be as big as it is now. So what's the point in you trying to put words into my mouth now? What is, what is it? I, I get that one. But, but yeah, yeah, I'm gonna ask you for the top three. You mentioned David Obuski and Bonaboy. Boy, but there's certain guy where people, which, um, which actually I think for Kiss Daniel, he has never made any bad song, no mm-hmm. bad song as a, as a matter of fact. Uh, but then, well, we have to agree to disagree, but let's go to this one. What was the bad? You know, I like the fact that people are listening to us, so it's cool. <laughs> what's his bad song? Let's start. I, I, I wouldn't like to, you know, not like, I, I, I won't say it doesn't have bad songs, but when we say no bad songs, they want to make it seem like, yeah, he has an kind of 100% record. And, uh, the very album that I titled No Bad Songs had mixed songs in it, so it's, it's just what it is. You guys are listening anyway. But yeah, um, I, actually, I'm um, from, 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 my, from his end, that what he have said. <laughs> I was where he dropped the um, um, last project, well, one of the last things we had, which mm-hmm. had um, Bugada, that, that song was amazing, doing good numbers. Yeah. Uh, I think Bugada the time was, uh, was, was that song of everybody, the, yeah. the elderly, the young, presidents, yeah. governors, like for every worker that you could have to that one. We saw where it crossed, surpassed by 100 million strong boom play. Mm-hmm. It became the most global song in Nigeria. It became the most Shazam song in the world. Mm-hmm. And number one, then number two was Aristotle, as it was. And with all of this, Chris Daniel still is not in that conversation. Why is he not there? Different reasons. I mean, um, talent can only get so far sometimes. Well, but the rest is... I would say I don't know anything, but um, I would say the general perspective of the way people talk about the standard in the industry has not been of ideal so far. So I feel it's just a matter of, and like I said, people can talk. Me, I don't, I wasn't there. 
I wasn't there when people had their experience with Jukis Daniel, so I cannot say this or that, but I can only say that. Probably, it might be. If not, then maybe there's something that's going on behind the scenes that we don't know. But what I what I can say is, um, he, he, he probably doesn't have too many, too many friends within the, um, within the industry. So, it, it is what it is. And those guys have come to the end of this one. Like I'll tell you guys, if, if you want to hold anybody accountable, hold him for what he has said. Don't try him for the conversation. I only ask questions. But you asked me, ask me the you asked me the question. You, you, that's my you work. put it you put it in my mouth. That's so, my work. Well, anyway, it's a nice time talking to you and really enjoyed it. But then guys, I only be able to ask you guys your thoughts on that one. What do you think kids should do differently to be in the conversation? I'll catch you guys on the very next one. Stay safe, guys, and you have to be very careful. Yeah.